These aren't too embarrassing, are they? Can your, this one is, can your spouse check your prostate? Of course you can check your prostate. I don't know if that's what she's doing, but that's, anybody can check a prostate who knows what they're doing uh, because you want to feel the prostate uh, for abnormalities. That's what a physician does. He's looking for, or she's looking for uh, the change in the consistency of the prostate. So it should be like the tip of your nose, a little firm and rubbery, like mine. Or it could be hard, like your knuckle, which could indicate cancer or other uh, benign processes. So uh, can your spouse check your prostate? Yes. Should she be? Nah, I don't think so, unless she's a urologist. Any questions from the audience so far? Does sex feel the same after prostate removal? Since I still have my prostate, I'm not 100% sure of this question, but I will tell you that my patients, for the most part, say there is a change in their ejaculatory function and sensation. There's going to be some change, but if your function is still normal and you're able to uh, have an erection penetration that satisfies both your partner and yourself, uh, the degree of change is really individual. The nerves get changed, the anatomy gets changed after surgery, and there's radical surgery and there's non-radical surgery, that is for, not, for benign disease. So they all have a different amount. Uh, many men have their erections and ejaculations and ejaculatory fluids are all connected. And a change of any of those can make some men feel different during orgasm. So again, that's, that's a good question, not embarrassing at all. Let's see. Does prostate cancer make it hard to ejaculate? Yes. Prostate cancer that is treated with surgery because there's no ejaculatory fluids. You've taken out the prostate, which makes 25% of the ejaculate volume. You've, you've interrupted the seminal vesicles, which makes 70%. So you have 5% of the pre-ejaculate fluid, maybe, or 3%. So there is a change in the uh, hard to ejaculate. If though you were diagnosed with prostate cancer and you weren't treated or you were on surveillance or had some minimal treatment or focal treatment, no, your ejaculation should be the same. The quality of the fluid might change depending on the treatment, but uh, prostate cancer that's not treated or minimally treated shouldn't change your ejaculatory function. So if today is uh, you're 60 years old and your sexual function is normal and tomorrow you get a prostate exam and a week later, a month later, you get a biopsy and it says prostate cancer, should your ejaculation change? No, it should be the exact same function. So next question, last question. Are prostate exams done with fingers? Well, first of all, it's one finger, not fingers. And the uh, that's a great debate today because a lot of doctors stopped doing prostate exams because of PSAs, prostate-specific antigen, a substance produced only by the prostate and found elevated in cancer, enlargement, infections, after ejaculation, rectal stimulation. So with the PSA being normal, is there any reason to do a digital rectal exam? And the question is, ongoing. Some of the academies of Amer American medicine have said, no, you don't have to do it, and that's their recommendation. Uh, urologists are still expected to do it, since that's our specialty in our area of um, knowledge. Uh, you, if you took a large portion of men and compared those who didn't have rectal exams and those who did, would you miss prostate cancers by not doing a digital rectal exam? Probably one to two percent very, very small portion. So that question is, is changing as we speak. Hope these weren't too embarrassing. Some answers to embarrassing questions. So when I see a patient in my office, I try to let them know that right away this area is sacrosanct. In other words, you see these four walls, think Vegas. Whatever we say in here doesn't go outside and I'll deny it, you can deny it. So we want to make someone relax because it's very embarrassing to, for many men to come in and say, gee, I can't get it up. I, I, you know, my girlfriend thinks I'm having sex with someone else because I'm not having sexual function with her. And that's a common problem. And it's more uh, embarrassing and or frustration. So that's why I think it happens more than 
uh, embarrassing questions. I mean, there are embarrassing things that happen to patients, uh, or all of us, uh, but as far as the office, I think that's where you have to make someone feel really comfortable to ask the questions so they're not embarrassed. That's how I approach it.